let's talk about the finite element method how we can uh, use uh, how we can solve this uh, problem analytically finite element method as you can see here is a numerical technique is a numerical technique to solve boundary value problems uh, mm -hmm. governed by differential equations so we have many many different uh, forms for uh, equations and physical uh, problems so in each problem we are facing with some uh, differential equations and boundary conditions a set of boundary conditions so we should uh, discretize the problem to be able to solve it in an algorithmic way so you can uh, read about Galerkin method in uh, web Galerkin method Galerkin approach and history of this method so i want to save the time the major uh, here you can see the major steps in the finite element uh, method Galerkin finite element uh, method the first step is discretization discretize the domain using finite elements right mm -hmm. here you can see discretization of the 1d problem uh, our problem here in this uh, figure so we have here we have n e elements n e that mm -hmm. is number of elements for this one dimensional problem number of elements is lower than number of nodes right is number mm -hmm. of nodes minus one so you can place n nodes right you can consider n nodes from zero to d that is the first step of the uh, finite element method is discretization of the domain actually we call this a step meshing or mesh generation as you saw mm -hmm. previously in finite element softwares right so the first step is creation of the model geometry you create the model geometry the next step is discretization or mesh generation right so here in this example because the geometry is simple we don't have any specific step for creation of the model geometry for two dimensional or three dimensional problems you uh, should create the geometry first so uh, this is the first step and uh, the second step is selection of the proper interpolation functions or uh, shape functions I, I will explain uh, shape functions and then uh, uh, obtaining uh, linear equations for each of these uh, elements individual elements uh, use uh, that is actually by uh, these equations are derived using the weak formulation okay i will explain to you these items in detail so this is just a review then we form the global matrix uh, system equations that is a global assembly and then imposing the boundary conditions for uh, finally solving the global matrix system of equations and uh, then post processing of the results actually when you solve the global matrix equation you, you have the value of voltage at each point at each uh, mesh point so if you want to uh, calculate the value of voltage at any uh, desired point you can use uh, one dimensional interpolations one dimensional interpolations so any questions yet it's clear okay right so just we uh, discussed the analytic problem the plot it and you can read 
also this short review or search via the web for this keyword and these items are the, the, the main procedure of the FEA uh, programming we will uh, discuss them in uh, details